hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today we will be seeing how to install creo 7 on your windows operating system so let's begin as you can see here i am having the setup file for creo parametric software the setup file includes help file and the ISO, uh, iso file so since iso file cannot be opened directly what you need to do is either you download a power uh, iso software which is a separate installation we need to do or you need to just right click on it and uh, click on mount option and in this way you will be able to access the, the files and the setup exe file which is there inside the iso file and then uh, so the next step in which you need to follow is the next step is open the key folder and uh, so here you can find the license uh, window folder here so you need to copy this license window folder and uh, paste to any directory like you can paste it to see uh, local disk and in C local disk you can create a folder called uh, PTC and then inside that you can uh, paste it awesome so now uh, the next step is you need to double click on the file license dot BAT what it what the tool will do is uh, it will generate a license file uh, which will have the uh, which will have the host ID for your system in that license file. So uh, after clicking on the uh, right click and uh, click on Run as Administrator, you will find this window coming up. And here you need to uh, just wait. And uh, so first it will show could not find PT file. Don't worry because it is just searching that whether do you, you are having an existing license available in that directory if not it will generate a new one uh, soon as uh, you will get an option to press any key to continue just click any key and then this window will be closed next is uh, you can clearly see that you have a file name called ptc underscore d underscore ssq dot dat so this is your main license file which you will be using to uh, to actually uh, to link with the creo software and uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, you, it has all the requ necessary requirement you can also check this file and uh, check for the host id inside it okay um so next what we'll do is uh, we'll install the we'll double click on the setup.exe and click on install new software just click on next accept and uh, click on next and here it will ask for a license uh, file so what you need to do the license file which you had generated recently you just need to drag and drop or you can just browse the directory uh, where you had pasted in my case I had pasted in C uh, PTC so um, here just you need to uh, click on the yeah here is the PTC file just click on the DAT file and just click on OK that's it and uh, if everything is OK uh, it will show status available and uh, here you can see the host ID mentioned which is 70-5a so here um, you can also <clears throat> verify that whether uh, host ID is correct or not otherwise the software will have an issue running so you can simply go to the run command which is uh, the shortcut for this run command is press the windows key and the R button uh, when you press and enter it you will find the command prompt coming here you need to just enter IP config slash all so in this way you will be seeing all the uh, adapter physical addresses so this is the physical address is your uh, host ID and uh, as you can see here um, Ethernet adapter is uh, 
is my uh, so host ID you can just double check yeah the, it is the same yep so most likely it will be same uh, but uh, I'll just mentioned you a method to double verify it and after clicking on next uh, you will find a whole bunch of uh, modules which you need to install in my case I am installing all of them because I will be working on uh, parametric simulate uh, rendering tools etc so I have clicked on all of them and uh, in the top you will find the installation path uh, you can also <coughs> Uh, add your manual installation directory else you can uh, in my case since I am having uh, a solid state drive as well as a hard drive uh, uh, the mechanical drive so I will be using a I'll be uh, installing on my other drive so I'm just entering my other drive ID uh, you can anyway skip this step as per your convenience All right, uh, so after selecting all of them, uh, we'll have to wait for around 10 minutes. Um, in my system, it, it will take, I think, around 10 to 15 minutes. So let's take a cup of coffee and sit and relax and let the PTC Creo installation do its work.
so uh, i think i have few errors in the end uh, if i check with the error of uh, it is saying your hardware is not qualified i'm okay with it no issues you can uh, anyway your software has been installed uh, there are certain features will i'll not be getting that's not an issue uh, just click on the finish option and uh, your window will be closed uh, and the last step what what you need to do here is um, the very last step you need to do is just copy the common file and distributed services folder just copy it and just paste it into your uh, installation directory just go there and just go to creo 7 folder paste it and it will ask for whether you need to replace if else and paste it directly that's all and your creo 7 is ready to open double clicked on the desktop icon uh, for the creo program after double click on it it will ask for uh, security access just click on allow and here it is the creo 7 is working and uh, here next i will try to create something um, let's see if it is if the software is able to work yes it is uh, it is allowing me to select planes and uh, yeah, the software is working perfectly fine. Thank you everyone for watching this video uh, if you like this video and if this video helped you in any way please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, if you face any issues you can also comment uh, down below uh, in the comment section and I'll try to resolve it as soon as possible and uh, yeah stay tuned for the next videos bye